Greetings all, Vanny here for Gemini's weekly message. Okay. You know, that's, um, that's fair. So, the first card that I want to, I actually don't know what I want, I feel like I have to bring these up to, these two up together. You have the Devil and the Seven of Cups in reverse. And I immediately had this feeling of someone's taken away my choices. Someone has taken away my options. And they, it may have been freely given initially with the Six of Cups, but now it has turned into a very, the, the only word that I can put to it is frightening. And I never want to say anything that will scare anyone, but I have to present the message as it comes across. And it feels like to me that some of my Geminis out there have come to realize that they are in a not safe situation, whether that be a toxic workplace that frankly does not care about your personal safety or if you feel okay there, or in a home or relationship life where when you married this person or when you moved in with this person it seemed like they were fine like they were normal and you could get along and you could it would be okay but it seemed like as soon as they had you to themselves and had a way to monopolize your beautiful energy they revealed their true colors and they revealed the monster that they are find your way out there are ways and you may not want to go to places like women's shelters or domestic violence uh, shelters but they will find ways for you to get out go to places like your community centers where there are food pantries where people can um, people can come in and get food but they can also get help on their bills sometimes and some places at least the one that I volunteer at myself can help connect you to like domestic violence abuse places where they can help get you out my love my Gemini's you have to get out because this devil will not escape they will not leave once they have their teeth in you and I feel like they have their teeth in you because they've made you feel so very very isolated like everything you wanted is so far out of your reach now it feels impossible to even think that is a is something that you could have and I literally feel this weight on my chest like someone is sitting on me I do not I recognize this feeling from my own life and I do not want anyone to ever have to go through that I apologize if I sound emotional right now I have just had to deal with this kind of situation for the majority of my life and no one deserves to go through this knight of wands in reverse someone is very much halting your movements especially on something that you wanted to do it's like you were so beautiful when you were talking about your dream you were so beautiful when you were talking about what you wanted to do but because it was so much excitement and there has there was not at that time the work to get it done you were glowing so brightly without the protections or awareness of dark entities around you of darkness that would try to seep from you because when you are in your soul shine when you are in your most divine beautiful and brightest you shine you glow like a beacon and that makes you brighter to people of the same frequency but it can also make us a target of low vibrational energies and that's where devils come that's where they come to come and hurt us when we are shining, to poke at the weaknesses in us, to poke at our self-doubts, to make us feel like we need them to survive when it is quite the opposite. They need you to survive. Air spirit, have power in the knowledge that you can create your way out. You create your every reality and it is not them that can take away that situation when you reclaim your power from them because I do feel like there was an instance when Gemini voluntarily gave up their power. And don't don't blame yourself, my love. We've all done that. I've done that. To this day, sometimes I still do that. And I regret it almost immediately. And I have to pull back my power to me. I have to pull back my energy to me. Literally do that. Recall it to you from any and all sources. In meditation, in quiet moments, understand you have your power. 
someone has locked it away behind a mask saying that you need them and that is so very much not true they have stolen your happiness away my love bluebirds might be messengers and us from spirit from you as well as deer is that a deer down there no nope, that's a fucking unicorn that is a fucking unicorn down there i i use this deck all the time and i have never noticed that there is a unicorn on the happiness card that is literally how magical you are, Gemini. And someone got a taste of it and they loved it. And they want to keep you like a treasure. But you are not treasured. You are coveted. I feel like this is the second time I'm having the, the urge to mention Rapunzel or Tangled. But it's, it is literally like Mother Gothel keeping this beautiful treasure away from her actual family because she wanted that power. The owl spirit of wisdom is coming in for you. I love when I get wisdom and knowledge in the readings because wisdom and knowledge are two very different things. Knowledge is something you are taught by someone outside of yourself guiding you to say, here, this is how you build a house and teaching you their skills. Wisdom is something you can only gain from yourself, from the experiences you have gone through in your life, how you have acted in them, how you reflected upon them, and how those actions have played out in your life. That is where we gain wisdom, from reflection and admitting mistakes when we did something wrong. And it was wrong to give away your power. I am not bullying you. I am not trying to make you feel bad trying to tell you to save your fucking life, Gemini. Because you are not okay where you are, my love. And you deserve something so much better than a toxic situationship that is only beneficial to the person that is hurting you. Have a beautiful day, my love.